What's going on everyone? Joe back from Grillo Joe's Barbecue and today we are part of a collaboration put on by Greg's Kitchen. It's marching in with casseroles. So obviously we're making a casserole. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever had jalapeno poppers? I'm assuming everyone has. What about buffalo chicken dip? I'm assuming everyone has had that too. What if we combine the two and put it into a casserole dish and throw that on the smoker? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do today, and let's get right into it. All right, so we are starting off with some bacon today. I'm gonna to be using six slices of bacon. I got the thick cut. Take out half that bacon pack. Save the rest of that for breakfast. Got our bacon cut up. I'm gonna move this to the side. And the cast iron. Those on there, get that bacon in. Now we'll let that bacon start cooking down and then once it gets mainly where I want it, I'm gonna dice up my jalapenos and drop that in the bacon grease to let it kinda get cooked in with that grease, give it a little extra flavor. So the chicken's cooking in the air fryer right now. I want that to be fully cooked before we get that on the end of the casserole and before we throw it in the smoker. All right, that bacon's getting close to where I want it. So I'm gonna move this to the side and get my jalapenos diced up. So I'm gonna try that technique I tried last time. Just slice the side and roll it. Had some of these jalapenos in my burger last night and they were not that spicy, so I'm not too worried about getting some seeds in there. The little gorilla was upset that my burger was not super spicy. back over here. So my bacon's looking pretty crispy. Most of it is. We're going to go ahead and drop these jalapenos in. And the jalapenos are just going to suck up that flavor from that bacon. Alright, so those jalapenos are nice and soft. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my next ingredients here. We're gonna add in 12 ounces of cream cheese. So that's a whole block, plus a little of the next block, and half of the next block. Using that cream cheese makes me wanna make a uh, smoked cream cheese again. And then we're gonna add a fourth a cup of mayonnaise. And it calls for a fourth a cup of Frank's Red Hot, but I think I'm gonna add about a half a cup. I want mine to be a little bit more, a little bit more kick to it. We'll go about there. Oh yeah. Turn that heat down a little. Yeah, it's melting down good now. I'm changing up from the recipe a little bit. I'm gonna be putting cheese in here. They just have you layering in the buffalo dip on top of chicken, but I'm actually gonna be using some quesadillas, or I'm gonna be using some tortilla shells, and we're gonna mix the chicken in here. I'm gonna check on that chicken, see if it's ready to be put into this mixture yet. Oh yeah, this chicken came out of the air fryer looking great. So I'm just gonna shred this up with a fork. It's still piping hot. I just put a little salt, pepper, garlic on here. Start adding some of this in. Get, clean up some room. Now 
I think that is enough chicken. Now to make this more of a casserole, I'm gonna be putting down some tortilla shells in there. One giant tortilla shell. I'm gonna be adding a little mozzarella cheese. Oh, big old chunk there. Nice coating of cheese, and I think I might garnish it with some jalapeno. All right, I hollowed these guys out real quick. I'm just gonna put them on here, make that look nice, just like that, guys. All right, the smoker's going at 350 degrees. Let's go throw it on. We're not far off from pulling that casserole off the smoker. But I wanted to talk to you real quick about this guy, my magnetic knife holder. Had a lot of people ask me about it on the last couple videos. And my dad actually made two more of these. They're slightly different colors. The wood's a little bit different because he had different wood on hand. But same design, same functionality, magnetic. I mean, as you can see, I do this you know, one-handed and it's sturdy. This thing is not going anywhere. And it holds up. I mean, I got uh, five knives on here right now and up to a brisket slicer, this thing's massive. So if you guys are interested in one of these, if that's something you guys uh, want, just shoot me an email at gorillajoesbarbecue at gmail.com. It's in this description. We're shooting for around a $100 price range. We want, uh, just depends on what shipping's gonna be. These two pieces come apart for shipping, and then you can put it, we'll uh, have it pre-drilled for screws, and it'll be ready to put together whenever you get there. Magnets are already in it, everything's ready to go. You just get your knives, get them on there, and have an awesome, display board. Thanks. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Put these guys down. Fresh off the smoker. It was only on for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Have the smoker at 350 degrees with some oak wood in it. Give it some smoke. But man, that is looking tasty. I kind of want to just like break this piece off and just get it use it as a chip, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient. I gotta get some pictures first, and then we're gonna be cutting into here and seeing what we got. Let's check it out. Alrighty guys, this smells awesome. I cannot wait to cut into this. Had to get you the close up here because I'm thinking we're gonna see some cheese. That looks amazing. Let's try a bite of this. Again, yeah, this just looks fantastic. It came out perfect. Everything was already cooked, so I wasn't super worried about keeping it in the oven for, or in the smoker for too long. But all the cheese is melted. Everything looks good. Now let's try a bite. Whew. That's a lot hotter than I thought it was going to be. Whew. Not like heat heat. Like fresh off the smoker hot. Mmm. That was so much flavor though. I'm so glad I put those tortillas between the levels. I think that, that kind of helps the, the kind of helps the structure of it. Uh, it tastes amazing. Tons of flavor there. There's definitely heat. I can really taste that, uh, the Frank's Red Hot in there. Lots of jalapenos. 
Not a huge bacon taste yet, <clears throat> but uh, there was only six slices of bacon in the whole thing, so maybe double that up and use that next time, but I would drain some of that grease off from the bacon. It cooked out just fine. There's a little bit of grease in the bottom. Not a big deal. We're gonna give this one a little bit of time to cool off before I take a bite of that. That is ridiculously good. I can't, I can't explain how good this tastes. It doesn't have a jalapeno popper taste. It doesn't have a buffalo chicken dip taste. It's a combination of the two. It needs more bacon flavor, but the flavor is awesome. This is a great, great casserole. I will definitely make this again. Make sure you check out all the other casseroles in this collab. There's a lot of them. It'll be all through March. March in with casseroles. I'll have a hashtag to that. There'll be a playlist below linked. I'll list the ingredients I use for this in the description as well. And make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming out this month. A lot of content coming out this month. I'm working on that 4,000 watch hours. So if you guys could please share me out or hit that playlist. Watch my smoke food playlist. That'll give me some time there. But thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Good thing it is Sunday because I am cheating on the diet. Mmm!